welcome to Bradley the Singing Chef. Today I am going to make one of my favorite dessert recipes that is so easy, you're not going to believe how easy this is, but it's incredibly tasty. Now one dessert that people here in the South eat all the time is a cobbler. And today we're going to make my favorite version of a cobbler. It's not peach, by the way. Um, I'm one of those people that I like a good raw peach, but cooked peaches and I not my favorite if I'm honest, but one of my favorite fruits on the planet are strawberries and they are plentiful here in Central Florida where I am located. So I can have them pretty much year round um, whenever I have a craving for this beautiful strawberry cobbler. So let's get started. The first step is to take a stick of salted butter and I'm just going to put that stick of butter into my 13 by nine baking dish that I'm gonna make the cobbler in. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna put this pan with the butter in the oven so that it can melt while I'm working on some other things. I'll pop this in the oven and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got my dish of butter in the oven that is starting to melt down so I can actually finish the rest of my prep work here. What I'm using is I have, I'm gonna need four cups of fresh strawberries that have been at least halved, if not quartered and hulled. If you have smaller strawberries, like about this size, you can probably get away with just taking the cap end off and splitting it in half. You're gonna see that there's not too much of that white hull in the center of the smaller strawberries. So those are pretty good as is. However, if you have a larger size strawberry um, in your container, you're gonna to wanna to get a little bit of that white hull in the middle of the strawberry out. There's really no flavor there. It's just added moisture to your cobbler that you really don't need. So I'm gonna cap this one. And in order to hull it, I'm gonna quarter it. You may have seen me do a similar process when I am taking the core out of a parsnip in a previous recipe. I'm gonna cut it in half, lay the flat side down, cut that in half into quarters, each of those. And then you'll see the white hull in the center and you can cut at kind of a 45 degree angle to remove that tiny little white piece of hull that you do not need. I'm using a small paring knife. I think that the smaller knife certainly works better than a large one so you can have control of your knife and be really, really safe while you're doing this. So again, I'm cutting in at an angle on that quarter, pull off that hull, throw it in my garbage bowl and toss the quarter over there. Same thing, each quarter at a 45 degree angle to get a little bit of hull out. If you don't get it all, that's okay. I'm just trying to eliminate moisture, like I said. You don't want a ton coming out of the strawberries. There's already gonna be some that comes out of there, but you want at least the sweetness to come out and not the no flavor moisture. Again, I'm capping this last large strawberry, cut in half lengthwise, set it flat on your cutting board, Cut that half into quarters, and then slide your knife at a 45 degree angle on each of those to get that tiny little piece of hull out of your way and throw the quarters in there. Now, like, you know, in every package, you're gonna get a few strawberries that are large and a few strawberries that are small. You just kind of be the judge. If you see a ton of that white hull um, in the larger strawberries, that's the ones that you need to go through this process with. If they're smaller, just half them, cap them, and toss them in. Texture of that crunchier small strawberry is actually a good thing in this cobbler recipe. So that completes me having four cups of those strawberries on the ready. All right, now let's talk batter. For this cobbler, this couldn't be any simpler. I'm literally just gonna whisk together a few ingredients, and then I take that melted butter out of the oven and pour this directly into that and you'll see how that works in just a minute. So I have a cup of self-rising, that is very important, self-rising flour. It's going into my mixing bowl. And I have a cup and a quarter of white sugar that is going in, followed by, I have some cinnamon here. I got this fancy mixed cinnamon as a gift. I'm excited about using it. And I'm going to put into my mix 
just a half teaspoon of cinnamon. I love that flavor of cinnamon complementing the sweet strawberries. I think it works really, really well. It's optional if you're not a fan of cinnamon, you don't have to put it in there, but I think that it works great. All right, and then I need a teaspoon. It's a half, a whole, and a half. So one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I have a cup of whole milk going into my bowl. You can use almond milk, you can use skim milk, but we're making dessert, so I'm not skimping. <laughs> so, and then I just take a whisk, and I whisk all of that batter mixture together, get everything incorporated, and it should be pretty loose. It's not gonna be any version of a thick batter. Put some elbow grease behind it to get everything nice and incorporated. And that is our batter mixture. Okay, set that to the side. Last thing I need to do is these strawberries that I have over here, I'm gonna to toss those in some sugar as well. But before I do that, I'm gonna go over and grab my melted butter out of the oven so it's ready for us to assemble this cobbler. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I am back. I have this hot pan filled with melted butter standing by ready to assemble this cobbler. I'm gonna take the four cups of halved or quartered and hulled capped strawberries and put them into this larger mixing bowl just so I've got a little room to work. And then I've got a quarter cup of white sugar that I'm just gonna pour over those strawberries and using God's utensils, I'm just gonna to toss all of those strawberries into that white sugar. That sugar is gonna start bringing out a little bit of that moisture, but of course it's gonna sweeten the strawberries. Let those macerate for a little bit in that sugar while we get going on assembly. Now, here's how easy this recipe is. No stirring required. Once you get that batter whisked together, that's the last elbow grease you've really got to put into this. Okay, so the first step, we've got our melted butter standing here, and I'm just going to pour this batter mixture all over that dish into the melted butter. drop of that butter in there. And then I am not, I repeat, not going to stir it at all. And then I take all those strawberries that have been sitting in that sugar for a little bit and I'm going to place those all throughout the batter and butter mixture in this pan. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be so good. I can't stand it. Spread those evenly everywhere into your batter mixture. Make sure you get all the corners with your strawberries and sugar. And that, my friends, is how to make a strawberry cup. It's that simple. I'm gonna put this in the 350 degree oven for between 30 and 45 minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. That self-rising flour is gonna help that crust bubble up over those strawberries and create a golden brown crust on the top that I'm looking for as this sets into a beautiful, beautiful Southern cobbler. I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll be back to show you how we turned out. Hey y'all, we are back in this kitchen. I can't even tell you, it smells so good. I've just taken this beautiful strawberry cobbler out of the oven. The pan is still warm, so I've got to put some oven mitts on and show you what has happened. I mean, look at that. All of that golden batter has come up around and still peeking through those beautiful, fresh strawberries. 
It's wonderful looking. I can't wait to taste it. Um, so, let's get going. I'm gonna get a little bitty corner piece here. I really should probably let this sit for a little while, but I can't wait. <laughs> so I'm tasting it now while it's still hot. Oh gosh, this molten lava may burn my mouth. But you know what'll help that? Is if I accidentally have some vanilla ice cream with it. I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Just got some store-bought vanilla here today. Gonna get a little scoop of that. With the bite of that strawberry cobbler. Oh. Guys, look at this. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's seriously one of my favorite desserts in the land. So that would justify my excitement for this moment that you're about to witness. All right, a little bit of ice cream, some strawberry, some of that crust. Please don't hurt me. I just need a moment. That is scrumptious. I mean, that little hint of cinnamon in that batter to me makes all the difference in the world, but the fresh, fresh strawberries, and it's not crazy sweet. I know we put quite a bit of sugar in there, but the tartness of the berry honestly didn't get fully overwhelmed. Um, and that batter is just crispy on the edges, chewy in the center and buttery. Y'all know how much I like butter, so another reason that I'm taking another bite. Mm. Oh yeah. It's one of the most comforting desserts you're ever gonna have, and I really do hope that you will try it. You saw how easy it was. There was like a whisk, a dump in a pan. I mean, it was so simple. So I know you can do this. I hope you'll get in the kitchen and try this recipe. More than anything, I really hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure your friends subscribe too. Share this recipe with them. Let them know that it's super easy to make an amazing dessert for you and your family. Eat well, love always. Bon appetit, y'all.